What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, we got CeeDee Lamb signed today, and Jerry Jones, who seemingly has been feeling a little bit of pressure and seems to be a little bit hangry. I, I started to send a case of Snickers bars to him, but um, he is definitely feeling himself today because basically here's what Jerry Jones said. King Kong ain't got shit on me. No, no, no I'm sorry. That was the wrong clip. No, Jerry Jones uh, talking to Clarence Hill. Now, Clarence Hill seems to be able to get the most out of Jerry Jones. But Jerry Jones has basically told everybody to, um, let me see, what is the best way to put it? Basically, Jerry Jones said, Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more fuck ups to shut. He basically, that, that, that's pretty much, some, that, that, that's pretty accurate right there. What he said, I've done it all. If anybody can figure out how to get this shit done, I can figure out how to get it done. Hell no, there's nobody that could fucking come in here and do all the contracts and be a GM any better than I can. Jerry Jones. In other words, he said, King Kong ain't got shit on me. So, I don't know if he said that after he knew the deal was done or what. But he's still trying to let you know, it ain't Stephen Jones. It's me. I'm the one in charge. So, all right. Okay. Okay, Big Daddy. Okay, Big Daddy. Okay. We got you. We hear you. Now, what you going to do next? Because you ain't finished. You the one that said... You were all in. You remember that, right? You remember that, Jerry? You said you were all in. So let's see what you're going to do with this. All right. Are we going to get Dak Prescott done? You know, I, I still have yet to see the actual numbers yet on how it's going to work out with CD because I don't think he's actually signed the contract yet. Um, but I want to see the breakdown. And I figure you're going to have about $20 million left over. Are you going, or, or are you going to bite the bullet and say, we're going to take a big chunk of that with CDs this year so we have relief down the road? I, I'm just trying to understand what it is to plan here, okay? Now that we got CD in here, we've got Mike McCarthy letting you know that it won't be a problem to get him up to speed. He said the overall conditioning I don't think is going to be a concern. He needs his body on. He needs body on body congested, uh, congested, congested, contested. Damn, catches and have contact balance tested. You really only get that by playing football, and so that's the plan that they have going forward with him. They're going to get him up to speed um, as quick as possible. At least they have two full weeks of practice not 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 games because we don't have any games and quite frankly none of our guys play in games really the closest thing to a game would be the two practices against the ramp and so um knowing that we have to play uh the cleveland browns who will be without joe mixon um we're going to need him to be 100 percent up to speed uh when we get there and so we've got of course um Micah Parsons is back with his podcast today. Um, I actually watched that and did a video and a reaction and stuff on it. And after going through and sitting there watching it and, and things, I'm not sure that it's really, you know, it's, it's an hour. It's an hour a week. Yeah, how much? You know, it's, it's one hour a week. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell him don't quit your day job, but it's only an hour a week. Um, so, I think it's going to be okay. Um, now, Jerry, we're all waiting for you to see what you're going to do next, okay? You you say you're you're all in. Well, let's see what these all-in moves look like. And um, I hope that we really and truly 
do do a couple more things because I would love, there's nothing I would love more than to be able to get the monkey off my back, which is all of these Eagle fans that troll us because the Cowboys haven't won one in so long. You know, Micah Parsons was sitting there saying that, you know, if I win a Super Bowl, um, that he may consider retiring and going to another sport. Um, I mean, that's literally the walk-off home run. Um, Dak Prescott has to think that's really the only thing he needs. And this is where it will get interesting is how this contract comes over with Dak Prescott. Is this contract going to be um, all about the money? Because, you know, CeeDee Lambs, you know, for everybody that says Dak should be the one to, to take, you know, less money. I don't think Micah Parsons is looking at taking less money. And I don't think CD, of course, didn't take less money. It's it's not up to them. I mean, the Cowboys, let's be clear here. We're spending $6 million on Trey Lance, $6.5 million over the last two years in a fourth-round draft pick. We're spending $4 million this year and almost $9 million next year because of Michael Gallup in dead money, and he's not even on the roster. So their mistakes, the Cowboys' mistakes – don't necessarily mean that the players that are here are the ones that are supposed to make up for it. That's on the Cowboys to figure that out. But um, it'll be interesting to see if Dak Prescott just takes that, you know, $56 million deal just to say I'm the highest paid or more uh, guaranteed money on there and and so on and stays here in Dallas or if it's going to be break the bank. Because what I would have to think is, and, and what I've said all along with this is, if I'm Dak, I want to know my contract demands go along with what you guys are planning on doing. If you're not going to take any money you save from me and use it for me to try and help win a Super Bowl, then I ain't trying to give you any kind of break. Because I want to be about something. Because... If Micah Parsons and Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb, after 30 years, they're the ones to help the Cowboys get back to the Super Bowl, um, you literally can just write your own check. You will be gods. So that should be the focus for Dak Prescott, and um, hopefully it's the same focus for the Dallas Cowboys. And um, at least... This may be, well, here's what I'll say. If you sign Dak, then that quenches or or puts out the fire of the Cowboys are tanking. I almost say that signing C.D. Lamb is letting you know we're not blowing it up next year. But then again, what do I know? All right, good people. I'll see you guys in a few hours with our live stream. Um, Today was definitely at least a good day to finally get something going. Peace.